Hey guys, welcome to this Leaf PHP tutorial course. On this video or in the next couple of videos, we'll be building a simple note taking apps API. So this API will basically allow us to create notes, up, um, read them, update and delete them. So basic CRUD functionality. So something like the Google Keep app. So yeah. Um, I was building this up, we'll be learning about the basics of Leaf, um, so routing, working with the database, um, user authentication, so basically users can create accounts and log in, and then also validation, so input validation, form validation. Um, well then, let's get started. So, the first thing you should have on your system is PHP, well, I personally use ZAMP. You can get it from Apache Friends um, download, so this link. And then the next thing to have is Composer. That's a dependency manager for PHP. So get composer.org and download. Right. So after this, you should have access to a Composer command. Um, by the way, this is my setup here. I installed Leave before because I have a slow connection right now. Yeah. So basically, to get Leaf or to get this setup here, you simply need to type composer require. Then the name of the package is Leaves slash leaf right um so you just add version 2.0 because that's what we'll be using right now this is the latest release of leaf so after typing this command it will go through some installation process and then at the end of the day you'd have this same setup here so you have the vendor folder which holds leaf and any other dependencies then composer.json and composer.lock Right, so after that I started, I sort of started the server first, even though I don't have anything here. So PHP hyphen S, um, that's capital S, you make sure it's capital or else it won't work. Then localhost 7000, right. So, right. So what we have to do right now is... Um, first of all, I'll set up my index.php file. So index.php. This would be my project root. So any request that comes to the app will go to our index.php file. Um, we can achieve this with this settings file. So ht access. It's um, a settings file. You can get this, um, you can get a copy of the HTC access, a simple HTC access file from the leaf documentation. So leafphp.netlify.app. So we'll reroute into index and then I'll just copy this simple HTC access um, right here. And then I paste this. Right. And then I'll just PHP and then um, I'll just echo out something simple. So I don't know anything at all. And then um, Alt click. So open up my work in the browser. Um, Anyway, let me just hide this. Yeah. Um, it's not supposed to take this long. <sighs> All right, so everything is working perfectly. Hmm. So we have this vendor folder which holds leaf and any other dependencies which come along with it. We have our index.php file 
you know, HT access file which reroutes every request back to our index.php file. So what we need to do now is to import leave. But first we have to require vendor slash autoload.php. This file simply allows us to use um composer dependencies without actually having to use the required statement so um, without this file we would have to use require maybe leaf.php for a leaf file require another file or just um, all in this file but then with this vendor auto load file we just initialize our classes and we can use any file we want to all right so now that we've brought in our autoload file, we'll start looking at routing, the basics of routing. So all right, so to use routing, we simply have to bring in our leaf file or the main leaf file. So as I said, we don't have to use require, we just simply initialize the class and that's all there is to it. So I'll say app equals new leaf app. Right. So this um, initializes our leaf app class inside this variable. So now we can use any and all of um leaf apps methods on this app variable so routing right any route we want to use um right so let me start here so different types of routes have different methods so basically you'd see post requests, get requests, and put, patch, delete. We can use all of those on the leaf object. Um, it's actually really simple with leaf. So all we have to do is app.get for a get request. Um, it takes in, here you can see pattern here. That's basically the route we want to go to. So we use slash for um, our base route. So this slash route is what we see when we load maybe notesapp.com or something like that. So the second parameter is actually a function or callable callback function, whichever you choose to call it. So we'll say function and then echo home route yeah so right now we've got our home route up and running but then to actually start or to get to leave to actually listen for routes we just have to say up run so we are basically running this app which we've created something like that Right, so I'll just save that and open it up in the browser. And we are supposed to see what we created, home route, exactly. So right now we've got our routing working. All right, so that's the basics of routing. All right, so in the next video, We'll be looking at for handling error 404 and we'll also set up the basic routes which we'll need. Alright, so hope to see you in the next video.